Hi guys, Dave Weiss here with the MuckArts.com video blog. Um, I, this one might come across as a little strange, and I know I probably look a sight. It's because it's about 3 o'clock in the morning and I just woke up. Um, and hopefully after I'm done with this, I'm going back to bed. Um, I had a dream. Um, I dreamt I was in a mall and an act of terror happened, and I was... Uh, just panicked and it was really kind of a mess and really kind of scary and of course I woke up and you know, just you know praying and asking God to, to overcome all this stuff and I just got this thing on my heart you know terrorism is is when people do small things to act make and sometimes big things but a lot of times small things that just start to make people afraid I think of the uh, the Beltway shooters a couple years ago I mean, they killed some people, probably, you know, and if you were one of those people that was affected by it, it was no small thing. But it was a very small percentage, but it made everyone afraid. You know, ever. I mean, they only got a very small percentage of the people that drove there every day. But everyone was scared to go there. That's what terrorism does. And so I got this idea, what if we did something different? What if instead of inciting terror and making everybody afraid, what if we all just did small acts of kindness? I know random acts of kindness is nothing new. I'm not trying to invent anything new. I'm too tired to invent anything new. But what if we, as a community, as a community of artists and, and, and people in general, just went out of our way today to do one thing to bring a small amount of joy to one person's life? And what if we just kept doing that and kept doing that and kept doing that? Wouldn't we be able to turn back some of the darkness that's in our world? And isn't that sort of what God's calling us to do anyway? I got this idea for this word joyism, and, and to be honest with you, I didn't have a lot of time to research it and find out if there's something else out there like that. So if this is something bad that somebody's done somewhere, you know, just negate the word. I don't care about the word. But do something good for somebody today. It doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be huge. You know, little acts of terror cause great fear. What does our Bible tell us? Our Bible tells us that perfect love drives out fear. So what I'm calling everyone to do today is just to do one little act of goodness for someone else. And just do it. And maybe not just one. Maybe just keep doing it over and over and over again. And spread it and spread it and spread it until you've blessed many people. Because I have a feeling, guys, that it's going to be very catching. That if we'll just do a small act for one person, or a small act for a few people, we'll just do something that'll bring joy into the hearts. And you can pray about that and ask God what it is. But just look for opportunities to do something good today. And let's start sharing them and let's start spreading stuff like this around. Let's call our friends and neighbors to do something that brings some joy. Let's turn back darkness by doing good. Let's not look for the huge program to do something massive. Let's be grassroots. Let's just do small things that help others and do something great for the kingdom of God just by doing something small and spreading joy. I think we can do this. I know we can do this because I know everyone can do something. We always want to talk about changing the world. Well, maybe we don't change the world by doing something massive. Maybe we change the world by doing a whole lot of small things with great love. I think Mother Teresa said that. Anyway, let's go forth and start to do that today. Let's do acts of joyism today and turn back the darkness. God bless.